Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse. Broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hello, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. Five minutes a day will keep the doctor away. Nine out of ten doctors say that, so you know it's got to be true. This is Daily Dose Radio, where we teaching through the Psalms verse by verse every single day, Monday through Friday. And today we're in Psalm 119, beginning with verse 97. So if you have your Bibles, why don't you turn there with me? We're looking at the main division this week, eight verses of wonderful, beautiful, succulent psalm- psalmetry. And so we're going to be looking today just at verse 97. And let me read to you from my translation, which I don't recommend. This is the Smithicus Absurdicum. This will help us with the uh, understanding a little bit because it's a wooden translation just to help us stay with your authorized version or your revised standard, whatever it is you use. Stay with that, but let my translation sort of help. Oh, how I love your law. All day it will be my meditation. Now, there we have the very first verse in this division. This, again, of course, is the main division. We're over the hump now. We're past the halfway point. We're into the second half of Psalm 119, and this is the 12th. Let's see, right? This is the 10th, 11th, 12th. This is the 13th division of the Psalter, of this particular psalm, rather. And notice we begin with, Oh, how I love your law. I wanted to read to you today from John Mason Neal. He has a very interesting way of translating this. He says, Lord, what love have I under your law? This is a, probably a really good translation of that. It's, he says, since it's a much better th- to do a thing through love than fear, it said here, what love have I? For the obedience of love differs much from the service of fear. Boy, isn't that the truth? The obedience of love does differ from the service of fear. And that's what this is about, loving the law. So it's just not a religious exercise. No, this is something more than that. This is a a love affair. This is like what we find in the Song of Songs, the Shulamite and her beloved, and the, the love that is recorded for us between those two, the courtship that is communicated between those two. Loving the law of God is like that. There's a courtship that happens between you and it. Neil goes on to say, Many give money for the needy because they're afraid of being blamed for their irreligious and useless greed. Many go to church because they're ashamed to have remarks made on their absence and neglect. But it is not everyone who loves what he does. He who loves the Lord loves his law, as Mary, loving her son, kept all his sayings in her heart with motherly tenderness. You see, there it is. That's exactly, ladies and gentlemen, how we're to look at the law of God. It is to be lovingly and tenderly kept. You don't have to understand all of it. Do you have to understand everything? Just enjoy it. Meditate on it. Let it work its way into you. And some things you will get right away because the Spirit of God will reveal them. Some things you have to meditate on. And notice that's our word today. All day it will be my meditation. That's our prime word this week. We have two words in this section work together. Meditation is one, and diligently consider. That's how I've translated it anyway. Diligently consider is the other. So those two ideas make our prime word, meditation or diligently consider. It's it's the idea again. It's just like what we had last time. We had an idea communicated to us using a prime word, but the idea was all throughout the passage. Well, here we have it. And the word that we're translating, uh, meditation, it's been a favorite of the Saul, of the psalmist here in Psalm 119. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how many times we've had it, but we've had this word meditation quite a bit. It's an important word, and of course we're in PS 119. This is our schoolroom. This is our classroom, and the teacher's teaching us. So now it's time to bear down a little bit. We're going to meditate on what we love. That's always a good thing, isn't it? And what we love is the Word of God. Join me again tomorrow as we do some more meditation on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.